Hi, I'm glad you're back with us today. We're going to be talking about something that really interests me. I'm always interested in quilt design. Today we'll be talking about how some of the tools have really affected quilt design. We'll be talking about the sewing machine, something that most of us take for granted now, and the rotary cutter that Diana and Laura have been showing you how to use and are using in most of their blocks. And then we're even going to talk about the computer. You know, some of the old methods are still equally valid today, but a lot of you are very busy and are finding that some of these newer methods help you a lot. Since we're talking about how high-tech tools have affected quilt design, I didn't think the program would be complete unless we included the computer. Now, I know some of you are using the computer at work and at home, and some of you are sure that you never will, but let's take a look at what the computer will allow you to do with quilts. This is a log cabin quilt design. The log cabin block is already in this particular program. And remember how when we talked about log cabin last week, you see that block flipping around? Well, the computer will do this for you. Say you wanted to do a log cabin, you can color it any way you want, and then by twisting and turning the block, you can see what would happen if you made a quilt and put a border on it and got all kinds of different designs. In this way, in seconds, you can see what your finished quilt design is going to look like. And it's on a small scale, so rather than making all the blocks and then crawling all over your living room floor to twist and turn them, you can let your fingers do the twisting and turning. And sometimes you may even end up with designs that you see aren't going to work. You can also figure out how many blocks you want. Now, I know a lot of you are going to want to do your own original blocks, so watch this. It's really very easy. The square you see here is your quilt block, and all you need to do is just draw lines. You can think of it as drawing lines on graph paper, but of course these are lines you can erase and try out different designs. You can even do built-in symmetry. Instead of drawing over and over, you can get these designs flipping and turning and then color them any way you want. You can save any colorings that you want. Once you've got a design you want, let's see how it fits in the completed quilt. All of this would take you probably, oh, 10, 15, 20 minutes if you were doing it with graph paper and pencils. But here's your finished quilt in no time at all, really. You can finally see those ideas almost as fast as you can think them up. That's the one thing people say over and over is, I've got so many ideas, I really wish I could see what they look like. Well, with a computer, you finally can. These are all finished designs that you can save. Some of these are traditional. Some of these could be anything. That's, it really is endless. And you can save them and look at them again and again. And eventually, the computer will even spit out the patterns for you to any size that you want. Now, there are some other ways that people are using computers. Take a look at this. This is by Marcia Anderson.